Go. I'm on my mind. I swear I'm gonna win, even if it kills me. I'm on money on my mind. The only way I'm gonna rest is if these motherfuckers kill me. I'm on money on my mind. Okay, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to be doing the ABS sensor and replacing it on the E46 as um, it decided to go and cause the ABS lights to come on and now it's flickering every time we go to speed and obviously as you know it's the wall speed sensor so it controls the speed and it communicates with the gearbox and then the gearbox is malfunctioning because of that ABS sensor and it's, I've scanned it and it's telling me the front left. So we're just going to go ahead and replace it as you know it sits on the hub behind the wheel so we've got to get the wheel off which i'm going to put you down and we're going to show you how to get the wheel off i'm going to be using my big impact gun to remove it so let's go and get it off So as you'll see right here guys, this is the ABS sensor and it runs up all the way here as you'll see and to this black box right here and then you've got to open this black box up and then that's the ABS sensor right there that you just unplug. Now I think this one was replaced cheaply by the last owner because I know they had only just done it but I think it's a cheap one so that's why I'm going to be removing it and fitting it with a proper one that I've got literally right here which is a Paget brand so we're going to be using this one and replacing it on the ABS ring right now. So let's get that one on. So as you'll see here, guys, I'm now using um, a nine mil spanner. Guys, the bolt is a bit corroded. So we're just gonna use a nine mil. As you'll see right there, it's now unloosening. So now once you get it unloosened enough, you can release it by hand. This is an Allen key bolt, but you don't have to use an Allen key bolt as such. If you can't see where it is, it's right here that I'm releasing it. As you'll see, and that's the bolt out. So now, what you're going to want to do after you've done that is just wiggle the sensor out of place. Then you're just going to want to take it off the line where it sits up here. As you'll see, I'm taking all off the lines and you're going to want to pull it from there and unplug the sensor. So, we're just going to unplug it from here. That's this one, it's quite corroded anyway. And we're just going to unplug that, which you should be able to see me doing. But you've got to press in this little tab and then just pull it out like so. As you hear there, and it's the ABS sensor out. Now, plug in a new one. So as you'll see here guys, this has got like a tab over it to protect it. So what you want to do is just, same thing, pull it up here, lock it into place like that. Put that one in. And then you just want to get that one in here. Like that. Sense around here, try and be careful of it not to break it on anything. That's all you need to be breaking a new sensor. Then you leave these wires here, and then the ABS sensor just goes into place here. That might be a bit stiff. As you'll see, I've located the sensor. I'm just trying to locate the hole to bolt it back up, which we've got right here. Now we're just going to turn it into place and tighten it up. And that's in guys. As you'll see right there, I'm using a 9mm spanner. That's the way you bolt it all in. It's all bolted in, it will pull itself in anyway in the end. Just make sure it's in properly, all the connectors are back together. And that's it. Now what you want to just do is connect green tab which is back around all the sensors to keep them out of the way of harm's way which is like that and 
plug it back in like that and that's the job done as you'll see the job is now all done just plug that one up there where it goes and that's all the sensors back intact so now what we'll do is we'll take it out for a test drive now you can see everything's done it's reconnected it only took five minutes to do so now we're going to take it for a drive Pop the rules up, guys. All up, as you'll see there. Put that one in. I'm gonna put the next one in. Put the impact. That one's in as well. And I'm gonna put the other ones in. Let's get them all in. And just. which they are so let's go and take this car for it okay guys so as you can see the lights are off now usually it would be coming on or flashing that ABS like when I push my foot down but it don't seem to be doing that now so that means the problem's now gone now it just come on at random like i say i was on my way to london and it just come on while we was on the motorway we have no idea it's just normal in it little waste with sensor i think it was the rain as well didn't help it the rain you know probably interfered with the sensor a lot and probably just stopped it working as you know most sensors would because we get a lot of rain water the, the, the skid plate ain't on underneath the car so that could have varied to it as well but as you see there the fault's now gone and it seems to be okay so what we're going to do is i'm just going to turn around so i can go back down i need to test it properly to make sure it is gone because it was start flickering after i reset it but i just want to make sure it is gone obviously feel the make sure the power comes in the gearbox ain't cutting out higher up here so we seem to be good guys as you'll see there i'm pushing my foot down and the speed ain't jerking so that means it's picking up the speed properly and there's no lights but man i've got to get this thing petrol my missus have left it going to the reserve so i'm gonna to have to go and do that now while i'm out of it jesus christ so i'll have to stop in a second and get petrol for this car and put it back on what i like to leave it on which is half so guys but as you can see problem has now been fixed let's make sure which it is no traction light hallelujah the job is done another fix done like I say, the sensor weren't too bad, it was £40, but I got it and fixed it anyway. You know, I had to go out and buy it. This is what the YouTube money goes on. As you guys know, BMW likes to break a lot, so you've just seen there. I've just had to spend £40 on the sensor, you know, out of the YouTube funding from what I get from YouTube. And this is what the funding goes on, guys. It doesn't go on me. It goes on having to replace parts on these cars that like to break all the time you know luckily it's only one part sometimes it can be a load of different parts in one month you know my car needs a few things it needs a new headlight because the condensation's come back in the eyebrow i need to sort out quite a few things but we still got you know quite a lot to do before then we will be doing a lot more things on the e60 as well you know guys i know it was just a short video but i just thought i'd put something out for you so you guys can see because obviously i'm not going to be posting much coming the following week but thank you all for watching this video anyway guys, it's BMW Doctor here and goodbye.